This is an example problem of finding coordinates in the terms of northings and eastings for a horizontal curve. So our specific question and in given information, we're told that the bat tangent for a horizontal curve has a bearing of north 40 degrees west. The point of curvature of the curve is located at the station of 238 plus 12.88 and has been assigned coordinates of northing 10,000, easting 10,000. The curve has a radius of 2,000 feet and a delta of 25 degrees left. Given this information, we're asked to determine the coordinates of the center line at station 247. So, like most problems, we need to start with a good drawing. So we're given this north 40 degrees west. We'll start with that as the back tangent. And then we were told there was the forward tangent is 25 degrees of deflection to the left. So those are our important tangents. And now we need to give some up, put in our other information, the point of curvature at station 238 plus 12.88. And that was assign, assigned coordinates of northing of 10,000, easting of 10,000. So what's going to be important here is to determine where is station 247. So we need to determine some things about the curve to just see if it's within the curve or outside the curve. If it's outside the curve, that's going to make this problem much easier. So we've got that smooth curve stationing goes along the center line of the roadway. And so if we're somewhere on the curve, we're going to, need to figure out where we are on the curve. If we're not on the curve, though, that's going to simplify things because then we can just use the tangents to find our coordinates. So the length of this curve is the radius times the delta times pi divided by 180. So 2,000 times 25 degrees times pi over 180 gives us a length of 872.66 feet. So the PT is 23812.88. That's our PC plus the length of the curve, 872.66, gives us a station of the PT of 246 plus 85.54. So we can label that one. And now that we know our point of interest is beyond the curve, so this actually simplifies how we can approach this problem, find the, finding the coordinates of the station of interest. So one of the things we'll need to look for here, especially when we're dealing with coordinates, is looking for our triangles. Because we've got angles that come from the bearings, from the headings, and we've got lengths or distances that we know we can calculate for various things. So the key to these coordinates problems typically is to identify where the triangles are, what is your given information, and what, what are you looking for. So we will need to calculate the tangent for this curve. It's the radius times the tangent of delta divided by two. So 2,000 feet times the tangent of 25 degrees divided by two gives us a tangent length of 443.39. And so that's our tangent. That's the distance between the PC and the PI, and also from the PI to the PT. We also have this small little portion here to get us to the point of interest, which is 14.46 feet. And that's just subtracting the point of interest 247, subtracting the PI, PT station from that uh, will give us that distance. So just a little extra distance on that triangle on the, the hypotenuse there to get us to our point of interest. So simplifying this a bit, focusing just on these, these two triangles, we can use Trigonometry, sine and cosine to determine the vertical and horizontal components, the X and Y components. So for our first triangle, that Y component, so that northing direction is 443.39 times the cosine of 40 degrees. That 40 degrees is the angle we were given for that bearing. So it gives us a, ver a Y component of 339.66. Because that's going north, that's going to be a positive value when we come and add this to the northing. Now we're going left as we move. So this is going to be a negative value that we're looking at for this first triangle because it is going to the left. To the left is negative. To the right is positive. And again, on the Y component, the up is positive or to the north is positive and south is negative. So for this, this horizontal comp component, 
443.39 times the sine of 40 degrees gives us a length of 285.01. Second triangle, now another vertical component, the Y component here in our northing and eastings. 457.85, that's the length, that's the hypotenuse of the triangle. The total angle now is 40 degrees plus 25 degrees, so cosine of 65 degrees gives us a Y component of 193.5. And then finally, our last horizontal component, 457.85, the length of that hypotenuse again, times the sine of 65 degrees, gives us a length of 414.95. So now to find the, the coordinates for station 247, and the reason we can approach it this way is because it's not on the curve. If the point was on the curve, it would be more complex to determine what those coordinates of a point along the curve are. But because we're not on the curve, we can just move along those tangents to find the coordinates. Again, the stationing is different. This is not stationing. This is just finding those x, y coordinates in terms of northing and easting for this problem. So for our northing, both of our points are moving north. So those are both going to be positive. So we have 10,000 plus 339.66 plus 193.5 gives us a northing of 10,533.16. For the easting, both of these are moving to the left. They're moving west, so that's negative in this terminology with X and Y. So we have 10,000 minus 285.01 minus 414.95 for an easting of 9,300.04. So the northing and easting, final northing and easting, 10,533.16 for the northing, the easting, 9,300.04.